everyone. So, you know, one of the, I think I, I've left this out, you know, whenever I talk about um, ride sharing. And it brought me to a good point that today I was talking to, uh, you know, one of my friends that I recently uh, met not too long ago, got him to sign up for Uber. And, uh, I mean, you know, he was looking for a job and he needed it. So he signed up for it and he was mentioning to me that, you know, what type of Bluetooth do I use and blah, blah, blah. And I told him that I don't use the Bluetooth. I mean, my car does, it's already integrated to the car by itself, but I don't ever use the Bluetooth. And the reason why is for the same reason being that it can hurt your rating system. Um, I know, and it sounds kind of dumb. You're like, why would the GPS or the Bluetooth hurt your reading system? Well, the reason why it would hurt your reading system is because when you are on the road, and this goes back to when I first started, is I had the speaker on for the GPS. And, um, you know, when I had the speaker on, I noticed that every once in a great, you know, maybe like one or one out of every five people or two out of every 10 people would say something like, can you lower it? Can you turn it off? It's annoying. Um, and even though it's what you use, I started just putting it on mute. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It helped me out a lot with the voice, you know, you know, just telling you turn right, turn left, or that really did help out, you know, come in ahead of time before the turn or whatever. But the rating system can be affected very, very easily, especially in the beginning when you first drive, because remember, if you get 10, you know, or let's say you get nine five-star ratings and one one or one three or whatever, it'll hurt you pretty good, you know, because it's only out of 10 ratings. So it's really, I think it's important to keep a rating kind of high in the beginning. So the best way to do it is, you know, do 30 rides and, you know, maybe only get one bad rating, that would help out. However, I noticed that once I turned off the GPS, uh, the speaker, that's when it helped out. Now, this, this was back when I started, when I had to use my own phone. Um, for the GPS instead of the Uber phone that they assigned to you. Now, you know, once I turned off, <laughs> kidding me. Now that I turned off my phone, now that I turned off my phone, sorry, this guy was blocking me for two damn lights already. Now that I turned off my phone, um, sorry. Now that I turned in my phone to Uber and um, I use my own phone, what I've noticed is I'm currently using the iPhone, which I know I say use Google because the Google Maps is way better, which I still do recommend, but I like the iPhone for the operating system and the battery lasts on, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. So now that I notice it, when I turn on the Uber Partner app, I, I turn it on and when it's on, while I'm going to the destination to pick up a person when I get pinged, you know, the GPS volume is on automatically. Now, once I, press, once I press the arrive button and the person uh, automatically answers their destination, um, I notice that once I hit start trip, uh, the volume's automatically off. Now, this is one of the features that Uber integrated for the same reason that they speak to a lot of people. Uh, they've done their own studies and all that, and they know that people like quietness, or I, I would say not a distraction. Um, so that's my advice. You know, This is one of the tips that I have for you guys. Should you use a Bluetooth? Does, I mean, it, you can use it if you want it to help you out. It's not a bad thing at all. Um, I would not rely on it. And the reason being is because once you do connect a Bluetooth to a phone, your battery drains fast, number one. Number two, your phone is already draining battery fast because you are using the GPS probably 70% of the time that you're actually, you know, signed on. So that's too draining, you know, battery draining, number one cellular service number two G gps service number three um and then the bluetooth it, it just doesn't make sense um if you don't care about that and you're charging the phone the whole time then that's fine but keep in mind that if you let's say you have a very very busy day and you're picking up people back to back most of the time especially when i work because i work at night it might be different for you guys when I work at night, a lot of people are like, oh, you have a charger, you have a charger, your phone can die. And I've run very close to those situations where my phone's almost dead. Um, and I believe I've maybe run into it once or twice. Um, I did buy an external battery pack now, so that kind of helps out. But still, uh, the tip for today is 
get used to your GPS system, whether you like iPhone or Android, uh, get used to it, learn the, the tricks of it, our little, you know, the mannerisms that the GPS have, like for example, me, it'll tell me to turn when I'm like 50 feet away, which sucks. It's an iPhone thing, I don't know why, blah, blah, blah. But that's just one of the tips that I have for the day is uh, mind the Bluetooth, mind your rating. That's the one thing for today. Uh, but yeah, man, if this was uh, in any way helpful for you guys, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot on my channel. It enables me to continue producing more content for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.